You know, um, do you find that many of them that were coming in at that early stage on the sales side had marketing, like just the understanding on how to like, like market, market either themselves or market themselves as a salesperson to a prospect? You know what I mean? It's like we're seeing like the integration of those two functions where um, sales is marketing, marketing is sales. Yeah, like yeah, it's, that's an interesting point. Um, well, I would say where, where we found that, and one of the big changes between what, what Black Duck had been and what we ended up doing was there was real distinction between how sales and marketing were run and compensated. Uh, so it, prior to the changes we made, marketing could say, these are our goals, we made them, now pay the bonus. But if you didn't miss the sales number, that was not, that's not my fault. Yeah. What we changed it to, and our, our VP of marketing, Bob Cannaway, came in and said, look, if we don't make our numbers, we're not paying the bonuses. So, so sales and marketing were equally comped, and we had marketing would only focus on things that would drive net new sales right. or sales to existing customers. And that made a huge difference is that everybody was really on the same team and integrated. Bi-weekly meetings, the best meeting was a bi-weekly meeting where they looked at, we did these leads and they turned into this business, or we did this trade show and it stunk, and this wasn't good. Right. Let's not do that anymore. Right. So we really adopted the fail fast mentality, be, be brutally honest. Mm -hmm. Uh, with yourself, I, I tell the story about like, you're a golfer. Mm -hmm. If someone asks you what your handicap is, and you're 15, and you say you're a 10, you, you're not, yeah. right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, you know, you're yeah. not. You're yeah. a 15. Yeah. So just say you're a 15. <laughs> and you know, if you miss a quarter, just say it. And what do we do wrong? You know, because there is something you can do to get from a 15 to a 10. Right. But saying you're a 10 when you're a 15 isn't helping anybody. Right. Builds a lot of trust, right? I would imagine yeah. those, um, I like we talk about those meetings, those biweekly meetings, and you know, there's a lot of transparency and knowledge yep. sharing going back and forth and nobody's really pointing And we didn't have, that's exactly right. We didn't have the, the sales guy say, we don't have any leads, and the marketing guy say, you didn't do anything with our leads we gave. None of that. Right. Bob and Adam were just aligned. That's and it was really, that's the thing about getting a good team. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a great team together and they have the same goals and objectives? It's terrific. You know, what did you recognize as you were coming in and landing and then expanding, of course, inside of the company that the current skill set had that was either lacking, needed to maybe improve? We talk a lot about pace and the agility yep. of businesses. You hear a lot now about digital transformation. You know, the area that a lot of brands are talking about and enterprises are honing into is there's a skill gap there. Mm -hmm. You know, as these companies transform from where they were legacy to where they're heading tomorrow with innovation and disruption, there could be a lag period of that skill keeping up with it. Did you experience that at totally. Black Duck? Totally, and it was probably the most uh, poignant, the most um, noticeable in the sales model because Black Duck had done a really good job of selling really big deals that took a long time, took a lot of on-site demonstrations and proof, proofs of concept and that sort of thing. And we needed to move it to this high velocity model. We still do the big deals, but you needed to do sort of 10, 20, 30K deals fast and yeah. predictable. Sure. And what we ended up doing is we recruited our, a whole new team. We just went to colleges around uh, Boston. We went, we went to UMass, we went to WPI, we went down to Trinity College, we went to other, we went to all sorts of places and we built, we now have like 100 people that came in out of college and we trained them nice. on how to sell our product. And, uh, that's been a really successful model. So it went from kind of classic, go hire like the experienced guy with gray hair who's got the Rolodex and, and he'll sell versus train people on how to, how to do something in your model. And we, we, our VP of sales, Adam Clay, absolutely phenomenal in building the system out.